Okay, so I've had a look at this question already, right? And in part A, they're asking us to determine the coordinates of A, B, C, and D. So you can see I've already worked out A there. I can see it's going to be 5 just by looking at it, okay? The reason being is it's the curve, isn't it? Um, the curve here where it crosses the y-axis, okay? So we can say, look, at A, okay, the curve crosses the y-axis, of course when it crosses the y-axis, that means then the value of x will be zero, won't it? When it crosses the y-axis there, x is zero. So all I've got to do in the curve is put x to equal zero. So y will equal to zero squared minus six times zero plus five, and that just equals to five. So a will be the coordinate of um, um, zero, five, yeah? Okay, that's what a will be there. 0, 5. For B and C, of course, if you notice that it's where the curve crosses the x-axis, okay, so we could say that, right, for B and C, curve crosses the x-axis, which of course implies that y will equal 0, yeah, B and C. So then we've got our equation of the curve, x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0, y is 0 across the x-axis and then we've got two brackets 5 and 1 in both brackets okay and um, they're both going to be minus aren't they yeah okay because they, they multiply them to give positive 5 and add up to give minus 6 so that means then x minus 1 is 0 or x minus 5 is 0 so x will be 1 or x will be 5 so you can clearly see then what your B and C is. So your B will be um, 1, uh, 0, and your C then will be the latter one, 5, 0. Okay, so we've got A, B, C. The one we haven't got yet is D, okay? But notice with D here, that point there, what does it say in the question? D is where the line meets the curve, okay? So in the question we can see, um, the, but the line L1 meets the curve at the points B and D. So L1 there, okay, and remember L1 is Y equals X minus 1. So what I need to do now is solve these simultaneously so where they cross each other, I can work out the points of intersection. So I've got Y equals X squared, so we're saying now for D, Y equals X squared uh, minus 6X plus 5, and Y equals X minus 1. Okay, so solving simultaneously, the y values be the same. So in other words, x squared minus 6x plus 5 will equal to x minus 1. So x squared then minus 7x, and take that over, plus 6 equals 0. And then two numbers then, okay, uh, 6 and 1, I think. Both numbers multiply to give 6, um, and they both need to be minus in order to make minus 7. So that means x minus 1 is 0, so that means x equals 1, which remember that corresponds to the point B, okay? And then the other point then x minus 6 equals 0, which means x equals 6. So that clearly then corresponds to the point that we want, D. To get y then remember, okay, you can sub it in. Now remember y equals x minus 1 on that line there. We use that line so we can sub it in there. So when x is 6, we'll have 6 minus 1, which is 5. Therefore, D is equal to 6, 5.